Why, hello, world, and welcome to Crusader Kings 2. So many playthroughs have been done of this game by so many people. I've decided to put my hat in the ring and show you the great dynasty that will be created. Oh, uh, don't pay attention to that one. That that never happened. Uh, I apologize for the poor quality of the video, though, right now. Uh, due to this game's ridiculous data usage for uh, 1080 quality. Yeah, it's it's not good. It uses too much. I have to downgrade just to get it to work. New game! Early Middle Ages. That's how we go. Uh, screw all this. I'm not doing a general vanilla run here. We're gonna get a little creative with this. Just a little. And I do mean very little. So, I've been thinking. Generally, you want to start in the UK area, Ireland, or the UK, because it's generally a lot easier to start, in my opinion, than anywhere else. And I mean, like, anywhere else. This game's massive. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know what this game is, it is a medieval dynasty simulator, basically. So it's a lot of, um, it's kind of hard to explain. But you play as as small as, oh, this little piece of land right here to entire country or kingdom or whatever, ownership, to entire empires, like the Abbasids. Yeah, what fun to run that nightmare. But no, we're going to start very small. Uh... question is, do I want to make my own, or do I just want to play with what's given? Hmm. First question you always ask yourself. I have just about all the DLCs, everything in this, except some skin packs, because really those are like, really overpriced for what they are, and the Jade Dragon, which is the newest, the one of the last newest DLCs, did this really seem like a big deal? Only if you're playing like the Chinese-esque group here, but honestly, other than that, I didn't see really the point. And then I always turn off Conclave. Now, if you talk to anyone who plays CK2, if they like Conclave, uh, cut them off. Just cut them off immediately. Conclave needs to die. Conclave is a DLC in which basically, oh yeah, you know how this is a dynasty, dynasty simulator about kings ruling. Uh, wouldn't it be funny if the kings actually had no power whatsoever and their heirs always suck? And I do mean it, it is almost unplayable how bad they get. And oh yeah, all your vassals always have all control over you. So you're never really a king unless your vassals have everything. Always, even when you have the manpower to squash them all, they still control your life. Yeah, no, that's, that's not how I rule. I rule with an iron fist, I squash all the heretics, all the heathens, all those traitors, I squash them all because I make sure the most power stays with thy king. And Conclave basically makes it where you can hardly never get to that situation. So we're gonna play in Rose, one of my favorites. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be Welsh. Yay. Uh, question is, do I want to be Welsh, or do I want to be Irish? Or do I want to be in this mess? This heaping mess. Or, we can play the easy way and play Venice. Why is Venice easy? They are the only trade republic in the game at start, at the early start date. Trade republics, all they have to do, well, the only independent one. There's one technically right here. Right here, but you can't to do anything because he's not an actual trade republic yet this guy is this guy isn't yet until he's given that anyway trade republics all you have to do is sit around and gain money that's it you don't really have to do anything else just money it's all about the money but now we are gonna play over here in Ross and um 
You know what? No. We're gonna play in here. In Ireland. Sweet, sweet Ireland. And... We're gonna play as Middlesex. Oh, this is so difficult. I'm like, oh yeah, I have planned what I'm gonna play in this. Uh, no I don't. No, I don't whatsoever. No, I don't whatsoever. Wanna play an African? Abyssinian? Sure. The Abyssinians? I'm gonna just play someone in India? Sure, why not? Why not Tibet? All of Tibet. That makes sense. Saxony. Yeah, no, Saxony dies. It dies. Uh, Goatland. Goat... I call it Goatland, but Scotland. But I call it Goat land because their symbol is like a ram of goat. Get it? No, whatever. I'm really leaning towards over here. I really am. Germanic's always fun to play at times. Uh, different religions have different play styles altogether. Generally the main ones is Sunni, Catholic, and Germanic. Everything else is kind of a mix of whatever. Cultures. Irish would be an easy one, I guess. Or Welsh. I really like the Welsh. I like this area here. Because it's really powerful. Because it's, uh, mountains right here. Very strong. Um. All over here, we also have to be tribal. Over here, we're not. I'm gonna have to go with Rose. Now, question is, do I stick with the character? Um, I think for the sake of this let's play that I'm going to do to the end, so basically till I die, permanently. I'm gonna make my own ruler. He'll be a nice Welsh young man. Ooh, those eyes. They stare into my soul. Uh, I generally don't like to make him look stupid. Because then he'll look stupid forever. Uh, there we go. There we go. Mm. And you do. Nope. I don't like those. Oh, that's better. Can't really see the eyes. Uh, hair. Can't really see it because of the headband. Of someone nice, like, uh, yeah, that seems okay. We're gonna go for a very black color. Ooh, I like that beard. That's a nice beard. Well, that is also a nice beard right there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with this. Uh, clothes don't really matter, headgear doesn't really matter. Because those will auto change no matter what, really. Background, I like this to keep it the way it is, it always changes anyway. Okay, coat of arms. I really like this coat of arms, but I'm gonna change it up a bit. It's giving it an emblem. Like uh, so. And a good emblem here. Kind of like that. It's nice. You turn this. Uh... Mm. Kind of just like that. That's not bad. All right. The name of our first man will be...
Very original. Now, now let's let's see what it gives me. It wants. Stefan? Okay, Stefan. This is the port one. This is what will stick for us the rest of the entire game. Arfon? Stefan Arfon? Kinda like it. So, we are going to want to be a mix of military slash a charismatic individual. So, generally, I go with the brilliant strategist. Now, as you see, our age has increased. That is not good. So we're going to put ourselves as close to death door as possible with things that can heal, like wounded. Uh, you don't want to really take spread, stressed, or depressed because those are actually very difficult to get rid of. Well, actually, depressed is... Depressed you can get rid of. If you get lucky early on. We're gonna be a genius. Uh... For the heck of it, Kinslayer. That can be getting, gone rid of real easily. It's really bad. Uh, it's really, really bad. Minus five diplomacy. But, but, we can get rid of it. By giving whatever money we have to the church. The Pope loves that kind of stuff. Uh, we'll be strong if possible. And then we shall be deceitful. Not craven. Not shy. Arbitrary is pretty bad for vassals, and our stewardship would hurt, but we need high stewardship to make this work. Uh, cruel never hurts. Now, Organizer is by far one of the most powerful military traits you can ever have, simply because you move faster than everyone else. Plus 20% movement speed is ridiculous. I always will love to go with that, or aggressive leader, because minus five. I'll go with aggressive leader, but organizer is the second, it's like the best. But aggressive leader if you were trying to go for points, but like afterwards if you get organized leader, you're, you're, you're set, you're set for war. I swear, it's, it's, it's amazing. We don't want to be a cynic because then the Pope would not get rid of our Kinslayer. Oh, this is where it's gonna hurt. Because uh... we're 27, yet we need more traits. I guess we'll take Ugly. I guess we'll take Slothful. Slothful, I believe, if I remember correctly, can be getting rid of, gotten rid of pretty easily. No, it's hard to exactly remember. Giant would hurt. That's pretty bad right now. Our health is already minus two right here. But again, our health did go up by one right here. So I mean, I guess we could be a giant. Yeah. But we don't want severe. I mean... Actually, this live without ugly, and that actually not bad. Left-handed would hurt because the church would not like us. Yeah, hear that? The church don't like left-handed people. But being left-handed is actually not that bad if you're a military guy. Plus 15 combat skill. You'll never lose a duel being left-handed. It's kind of awesome. So as you see, we have one diplomacy. These are our base stats that Alamek puts in, and then these are the stats after all of this shindings. 1 Diplomacy, 18 Martial, 10 Stewardship, 14 Intrigue, and 8 Learning. Learning ain't really important right now, being that that is <clears throat> specifically for upgrading technology. Not important right now, especially because since we're already medieval. Intrigue, kind of important, but not number one. 
since we're not, we don't have many vassals to try to kill us. Stewardship, very important, because that decides how much land you can personally have under you at a time. Marshal, extremely important if you're in our situation where, you, where you, we need to conquer. It increases the amount of soldiers you will have depending on how high this is. How high can we bring this up for? So we can bring it up to 26 to be the, at the age of 18. And diplomacy, specifically, I believe having a high diplomacy increases your chancellor's chance of getting um, claims, though that's not entirely sure on that part. But it also makes your neighbors like you more, the vassals like you more, everyone kind of just likes you more, and will listen to you and not try to assassinate you. And intrigue is basically, if no one likes you, diplomacy doesn't matter because then, hey, guess what? I just don't get killed either way. Health is important. Uh, it's only at four because we have depressed and wounded. And those will go away though. So we technically have a health of six. Technically. Fertility got hurt because of giant, which is terrible. But we have strong, so it kind of counterbalances. I technically would want to actually put two points in here. So that way we'll have a still 50% chance of getting a child. And then. best one to get so I'll have a seven diplomacy by the end of it well actually I'll have a lot higher than that once I lose Kingslayer and depressed then I'll have a diplomacy of 11 which is not bad oh no that's plus six of so nine I mean not bad but it's not good this will go up to 23. You know what, let's just go up to 21 and make that a 27. Or a 26. Because Marshall, we are going to be warring. We're going to go to war a lot. So this is what we got. We're not going to... We have a high chance of dying, actually, early on. If that wound gets infected, we may most likely die. Or if the character decides to commit suicide. Sometimes they just do that. Oh yeah, another thing about Depressed is it allows you to commit suicide. It gives you the option, which I find hilarious. <laughs> I find it absolutely hilarious. So anyway, yep, we are Stefan Arfin of Rose. And let's begin this nightmare. Yes, achievements are disabled because... I mean, they're disabled because I have a custom ruler. So I'm not going to play Iron Man. Though that doesn't really change anything, so, uh... Yeah, it does change stuff in case the game crashes. So... Yeah, I'm not gonna play Iron Man, because if it crashes, like, halfway or towards the end of the year, it hasn't auto-saved yet, I'll have to replay the entire year. Which, later on in the game, gets a little... Most of all these stats are all generic. Nothing's been changed, so it's basically gonna play... Basically playing it how the game intended it, with all these DLCs. So, great. Let the nightmare begin. Once again, I have to say, welcome to Crusader Kings 2. I am actually excited to play this. This is one of my favorite games of all time. Right up there with um, Civ, Civilization uh, 5, and uh, a couple others, really. A couple other games. I have a list. All right. Yada yada yada. This stuff really doesn't matter. Yada yada yada. This stuff really doesn't matter, except specifics. If you're a first-time player, you can pause right now to read this stuff if you wish. I'm gonna move on now. All right. So this is how the game starts. It's fog of war. We are this little piece right here. Yeah, this is us. Yeah, we have one vassal. This little tiny island guy. Hello, our marshal. You are crud. Why do you hate me? Oh. You're ambitious. No wonder you hated your previous lord. Alright, so we're gonna start here. 
Uh, yes, it wants to just recruit a physician. We may or may not do that, depending on if we need to. So, we need a new chancellor. You're not that bad of a chancellor, my friend. A 13, if that's the best we got. We are gonna go for... Tarlwig, whatever this is. Because it's a really important key point to expand. Wow, we have an actually good steward. I love that. Steward, your job's money. Collect me some taxes. Uh, Marshal, build me some troops. Our spy master likes me. Do we have anyone better? Nope. Uh, so this is what you do with spy masters. Because he's not above like a 30 opinion, or at least a 50, I just send him away. Study technology, and go over here. I said, go over here. Now he can't kill me. So your spy master has the highest chance, just about everyone except like your wife, to kill you in a plot of assassinations. So your spy master, what you want to do with them is not any of these three things, especially not any of like these two right here, the build spy network scheme. Savage Hawk province, he'll just do it outside of province, not yours. But the other two, don't let him do it in your territory. Just don't let him do it if he doesn't like you, because he will kill you. He will. I, I lost so many games because of that. Alright, the last guy, the court chaplain. You currently want to hunt apostates. I mean, that's really the best you can do, but actually, you got something better you can do for me, my good friend. Go talk to the Pope to get him not to have me as a kinslayer anymore so people will love me again. Thank you. Alright, we got some minor titles to give out, I believe. So minor titles is basically, there's only a few of them in here that matter. Uh, these four, right, these three right here, don't matter worth a dime. You just give them to people that you want to improve relations, which is these three. No! I hate clicking buttons on accident. There we go. Cupbearer. So cupbearer is extremely important. It's one of those ones that if you give it to someone just willy-nilly, they have a high chance of killing you. Uh, content is your best. Doesn't matter if he's a spy map, he's good at inter intricate intricate stuff like web weaving intrigue because he's content he's just like hey i like my liege i don't want to kill him he's cool these are the kind of guys you actually want to give land to content people and people who are not content you rip out yeah that's how you do it uh designated region is equally as important i'm not going to give it to the ambitious guy because he will do all in his power to make sure i die and then if I have a kid, he will just basically murder my kid for power if he has the chance. So no, not giving it to him. I'm actually gonna give it to my spy master. No, I'm gonna give it to the mayor. Me and the mayor, we're cool. We cool. He's my cupbearer, he's my regent. He has lots to gain, but he likes me, so I have a very little chance of dying from him. Uh, generally, I would take money from the Jewish court but I'm going to immediately buy indulgence. No. First, I'm immediately going to go check here. I can't afford anything for upgrades. So yeah. Immediately, I'm going to go for this. Buy indulgence for my sins. I'll call up the Pope. And be like, hey Pope, I want to pay for my sins, please. Let me be free of my sins of being a kin slayer. A kin that I've never slain. So first, we're going to pick a focus. Focuses are extremely important, especially when you do this kind of playthrough. Always go Hunter, if you're doing the Wounded Depressed. Because Hunter gives you plus one health, so one of these basically get nullified on health damage. Wounded generally will, no matter what health thing you do, it'll go away eventually, hopefully. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it's a real pain. Depressed, however, can only be gotten rid of very, very specific situations. Hunter has one that basically almost is guaranteed to happen early, which is you get a pet dog, and that dog will get rid of depressed. I've never seen it not. It always does. And we increase our marshal even more. All right, ambition. We want to get married. We need kids. We need a dynasty to live. Crown focus. I just go here. You click on the little crown here, so you can specify. Crown focus. All it does is that it improves the prosperity rate going up there compared to everywhere else. Doesn't do much. Here's tech. We are pretty terrible. Here's our laws. We're pretty terrible right now. Uh, I want to actually lower city levies. 
right now. Yes. Lower the city levies because the next law I'm going to pass is raise city taxes. City taxes compared to levies is a lot more important simply because cities bring in the money. While churches bring in the men. I know it sounds a little backwards, but that's how it works. Churches have lots of men for some reason compared to taxes. And if you just increase taxes on the church, they're not paying you anyway because they give it all to the Pope. Seen here. Uh, they like the Pope more than me, so I get diddly squat. I get nothing. See? He would give me 11.7, but he's giving me nothing because he likes the Pope. This guy would be giving me 10 gold a month, or 10 gold yearly, of income, yet because he likes the Pope, I get nothing. That's how it works. Our military, it's pretty cruddy right now, but it will expand. Oh, once it registers my marshal, oh yeah, it, it's gonna grow big. Big. Big and meaty. A fat, juicy stick. Yeah, we have no court physician. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do this. We have sent messengers with scouts in all directions to scour the realm for skilled physicians that would be willing to take up residence to your court. Which would reach you shortly if they manage to find a suit in Canada. Hopefully they will not bring back a quack salver. Basically, there's a chance we'll just bring someone really bad, or really someone who will just do nothing. Yeah. So, immediately before, we, we, no, nothing's happened. No movement of the game's happened, except we just kept it paused. We need to get married. Ooh, Princess of Lombardy. Two, three Princesses of Lombardy. I like the young one. I like the youngest. Because she's close to my age, that means she'll have more children, most likely. She's envious. No, no, I don't like envious. You're lustful, so you would have more children. Though that's also a bad thing. In some cases. Uh... And again, you have a high diplomacy, and that'll help me a lot. Yeah, your wife's stats, your counsel and your wife do help you here. Specifically your wife. So yes, I'm gonna marry this one. <laughs> Princess Alcelperga. Yes. Uh, not matrilineal, please no. I don't want to die off right about now. So, we've done everything we need to do, for as I can remember. But yeah, societies. We'll be getting to this maybe eventually. Ooh, societies. I love this game. I absolutely love it. Alright, let's start. This this is the game. Time has started. All right, rumor about a spy sneaking around my own castle was confirmed this morning when I caught him red-handed. Oh no. Oh no. Actually. Oh yes, I will kill him with my bare hands. I need prestige. Prestige? So up here, you have gold. You know, gold does gold. Uh, we're gonna need money, lady. <laughs> if I'm not going to be a Kingslayer anymore, I need the Muns. Uh, yes, I have finished the ambition to get married. Lovely. I get a new ambition. I would like money. Though, I will say... I want to have a daughter. No, I want to have a son later in my life, so I have as much time to play him as possible. But, so he doesn't end up doing stupid things. AI likes to do stupid things, but then again, I would expect that nonetheless of a son of mine in this game, not in real life. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you've been assuming. Anyway, yeah, we need the money so I could do this. Glory to God. You're going to have a court position, are you? You are. All I could find, I guess. Yes, everyone improved, lowering the vassals of uh, my city-state limit required of units. So they're like, oh, you want us to get less units? Well, since we didn't get rid of lose the uh, terrible, terrible, terrible issue of Kinslayer, I'm going to take money from the Jews. 
from the Jewish bank. So I can do this. Castletown. Go over here. Castletown. That'll improve our income. Yes, yes, yes. And we need income. If we're going to declare war here, we're going to need money. We're going to be taking this guy's land. So his max total troops is about for less than 400. Our max troops is about a thousand. Did you see why I love martial skills? So let's hope we just don't die off of being wounded and or depressed to death and or assassinated by my wife because I'm pretty sure my wife does not like me right now because I'm a kinslayer. Yep. <gasps> yes! I shall call him Hunter. He will hunt my enemies glorious combat. So, I got the dog. There's a chance that now there's an event that can happen he will get rid of depressed. Yes! That's what I needed. That's what I needed in life. No longer to be depressed. Depression kills every day. I have soul. My poor soul. So depressed. So, now we wait, really. Uh, the Pope doesn't like us, which is to be expected. Yes, good dog. Good dog. We have no factions, so no one wants to overthrow us, especially the one vassal I have. Uh, we're not going to repay that loan, probably in this lifetime. Probably never, honestly, until the Crusades happen, which won't happen for another 200 years. So I won't be around to see you. Okay, uh, get gluttonous, but more health. No, I'm going to become temperate. Yeah, thank you. Ah, uh, yes. The wife is prego. She is prego. We need children! Hopefully daughters that I can marry off for alliances. Oh no. The pregnancy has caused my wife to develop quite the unusual taste. Most of what she asked for there now is ranged from mildly unsettling to positively revolting. Oh jeez. Still, scholars do agree that a pregnant woman's craving should always be accommodated. I'm not sure she gets what she wants and more. She becomes 40% chance gluttonous. Lose a gold, lose a gold, lose a gold. The difference here is that she gets more health for a while. For two years. Uh, and her opinion goes up to me by 10 for two years. No. Yeah, uh... Yeah, fish eye. Have a fish eye. One gold? Have a fish eye. I don't care. Have fish. Have eyes. Have a human eye. My wife is weird. She's weird. I'm scared. Anyway. Oh, come on. My wife. Asel. Anzel. I'll just call her Anzel. Or Perga. Persia! Look at my wife, Persia! Asked me to buy her some new clothes because of the pregnancy. She has outgrown most of her wardrobe, and now she feels frustrated for not having anything nicer to wear whenever she needs to make an appearance at court. Oh, dear. Well, it'll give her prestige, I guess. And her opinion will go higher. Maybe she doesn't. Happy wife is a happy life. Oh, come on! <laughs> it court to me occurred to me that my wife is feeling somewhat gloomy as of late. The burden of her unborn child is surely causing some hormonal imbalance that is affecting her mood. Oh, come on! Well, it's a chance that I become kind and charitable. But then I lose cruel. Uh, I didn't get either of those. That's fine. I'm nice to my wife. Okay! That's step four. We're no longer wounded. We have a scar. Which scar does? It does amazing things. More prestige and opinion of the opposite trait, which I don't know what the opposite trait of scarred is. I guess not scarred. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, you know, you know. No, we know. No, we know, we know, we know, we know, we know, we know. I'm gonna end this episode here. 
uh, next episode, we get into why this is a oh no situation. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying this. I am definitely enjoying this. Bye-bye! <laughs>